So, good day everyone. For our content today, we will discuss about the fifth law of gas law. So, from our previous content, we've discussed the Boyles and Charles. And then the second is the combined in gay law sac law. Then today, we will discuss about the ideal gas law. And this is the ga last gas law of the gas law. So, as you all know, ideal gas law is an equation of state that describes the behavior of an ideal gas and real gas under pressure and temperature. So, which means that this ideal gas law talks about or uh, it focuses about the temperature and the pressure during a real, a real gas or the behavior of the gas. So, that's why it comes up with the ideal gas law. So the ideal gas law has a formula of phi B is equals to N R T. So P stands for pressure. So we all know naman that pressure we use that from the last four uh, last four laws of gas. Then V for volume. Then this N is for moles. Then R is a constant ideal gas. So, this is constant, which means that the R has already its constant value. Or it is 0.0821 liter dot atmospheric per mole per of Kelvin. And our temperature is, and or our T stands for temperature or we know that temperature we always use kelvin as the unit for the weather so let's have an example for a ideal gas law so that we will understand pa more about the ideal gas law so our first example a cylinder of argon gas contains 50 liter of it at point at 18.4 atmospheric and 127 degree Celsius. How many moles of argon is in the cylinder? So which means that we are going to get or to solve the moles of the argon inside the cylinder. But before that, let's uh, determine first the given. So, our pressure is 18.4. What else? So, we have also our volume, which is 50 liter. And our R, which is constant, which is equivalent to 0 0.0821 liter ATM per mole kelvin and for our temperature so we need to convert degree celsius to kelvin so 127 plus 273 so it is equivalent to 400 kelvin so it is already complete and ang ato ang ginapangita is the moles so, si moles ang unknown. So, we can now start uh, so or getting the number of moles of the argon inside the cylinder. So, since we're going to solve for moles, so N is equals to PV over R. So, as you all know that the formula of ideal gas law is that VB is equals to n r t but since small ang atong ginapangita so this is the uh, formula if we're going to solve for moles so we can now write so 18.4 atm times 50 liter over 0.08 to 1 liter ETM per mole Kelvin multiply to 
400 kilo. So, we need to cancel first the same or like units. So, we have the liter, the atmospheric or pressure, and also we have the Kelvin. So, ang nabili na lang nato is our mole. So, we can now solve for that. So, 18.4 multiplied to 50 liters. So, it is equivalent to 920. So, 0 0.0821 multiplied to 400. So, it is equivalent to 38 or 32.84. So, 920 divided to 32.84. So, our mole is It is equivalent to 28. So, this is our mole of argon inside the cylinder. So, let's remember if mole ang pangitaon, this is the formula that we are going to use. So, for our second example, given the following set of values, calculate the unknown quantities. As you can see, for this example, our volume is the unknown. And our temperature is in Celsius. So, we need to convert 25 to Kelvin. So, plus 273. 25 plus 273 is equivalent to... 298 Kelvin. So, we have now our temperature in Kelvin. So, we can now solve on how to get the volume for this type of ideal, gla ideal gas. So, volume is equivalent to mole RT over. So, ano yung natira? It is the pressure. So, yun yung gagamitin if you're going to solve for the volume. So, we can now write the value. So, 0 0.00831 mole multiplied to which is the constant unit of ideal gas. We have the 0 0.082821 then write the unit LATM per, per mole Kelvin then multiply to the temperature which is 298 98 Kelvin over. So, sa taas ka lang siya lagay because hindi siya kasha sa board. Divide the pressure which is 1.01 atm. So, cancel out like unit. So, naiwan na lang is our liter. So, 0 0.00831 multiply to 0 0.0821 multiply to 298 divide to 1.01 so the answer is 0 0.002 liter so this is the volume of the or this is the unknown value of volume so we've now already get the unknown quantity so which is the volume so, actually, uh, for those five gas law, ideal gas law is one of the easiest way if you're going to have a computation or problem solving. So, I hope you've understand about the ideal gas law. For more questions, clarifications, you can comment down below. So, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and bye-bye.